Carolyn Nichols, Certified Holistic Nutritionist, and here with you at the Energy Shack, taking you over to my desk because I have something very serious to talk with you about today, gallbladder. Um, it is no light thing for gallbladders to be removed from the human body. And I know that uh, many doctors, because I have many clients that tell me, oh, I don't have a gallbladder anymore. Well, do you know what your gallbladder does? Do you know the purpose of the gallbladder and why you have it in there? And I find that um, it's very disappointing in the medical system that um, they take it out too easy. And what's also disappointing is as you read online uh, more and more information, you will see over and over again that the gallbladder is not necessary or you know most people can live without a gallbladder can you live without a gallbladder of course you can uh, most people live normal lives without a gallbladder but can you live a very healthy life without one well i have to tell you that the gallbladder um, has a very serious and important function in the human body and if it's missing you are most likely going to experience some issues and what are those issues how can you fix them and what can you do also to prevent if you do um, if you are a stone maker um, how you can prevent making these gallstones so that you don't end up having to take it out and I also want you to know that I have incredible success of helping people get rid of the gallstones in their gallbladder naturally without medication without taking your gallstone out and uh, you can contact us directly at the energy shack you can message us you can call us you can email us uh, and we would be happy to have a nutritionist talk to you and share with you how you can do a gallbladder cleanse and get those stones moving however um, if you do not and you just like some information a couple things to know your gallbladder which is like a little small pear-shaped uh, hollow sac that sits uh, just below the liver has a very important role to play. What it does is as the liver creates bile, the bile is then stored inside the gallbladder. What is bile for? I'm sure some of you know, but some of you may not. But it helps to break down um, the fats that we eat. Whether it's french fries or whether it's an avocado, uh, the bile is used to break down those fats during digestion. So what happens is Food is eaten and fats start making their way into the small intestines after it goes through the stomach. And then a hormone um, will signal the, lip, the uh, gallbladder to release the bile. The bile will come inside the intestinal tract in the right amount at the right time because it's getting that signal from that hormone, very important. And then it will help to digest the fats and you don't experience any issues generally um, through digestion because the bile is regulated properly into the intestinal tract. The other thing that the gallbladder does is it draws out waste from your liver into a part of your small intestine um, that helps to excrete waste from the body. So imagine now that the gallbladder is not there. So there's no signal from that or there's no middle person from that small intestine to the liver to let anybody know that hey we need some bile in here because we're trying to digest some fats the other problem as well is that this gallbladder was helping to get rid of all that waste product from the liver out eventually through the colon so when the gallbladder is removed do these processes still happen yes they definitely do do they happen in the right timing with the right amounts of bile? And is the, is the process as perfect as it should be? No, no it's not. And so many people who are missing their gallbladder will find that they experience digestion issues. They may have super loose bowels. They have a lot of bloating or gas. They just don't feel the same and digest the same. It is no surprise because the gallbladder does have a very important function to pl play in your body and in just keeping your system whole, complete, entire, and having a good well-being and overall health. So what can you do, first of all, if you don't have a gallbladder? Um, number one, you are going to want to eliminate fats from your diet for um, a couple weeks, if not a month, and follow our Eight Laws of Health program, which you can find on our website by clicking on free consultation and watch that video. What else you can do is you need to eat lots of fiber-rich foods. You want to have big salads, you want to have your fresh fruits, 
Uh, it's very, very important that you have lots of fiber in your diet. This helps to break up the bile salts and some of the other foods that can calcify and create those stones. So you want lots of fiber in your diet and that doesn't mean you're going to eat lots of bran and granola bars and things like that. You want big healthy salads, you want fresh fruits in the morning, things like that. The other thing that you can do, number two, um, is to drink plenty of water. You absolutely need lots of water to flush the system and make sure salts are not calcifying in the body. That's so important to keep the blood running, flow, and free. So the other thing as well that you can do, number three, there are actually certain foods that you can eat that help to keep the gallbladder nice and cleansed because there's a nutrient in those foods that help with the bile production and there's actually foods that are available every day that help to stimulate that bile to come in um, at the proper times as well. And those foods I'm gonna share with you right now.